that really work with us in our garage and our outdoors. So this is blowing up a football. This is blowing up the wheel to a wheelbarrow. This is going to go to an SUV behind me in just a second and put air in the tire. So if you ever are ready to head to work and you notice right there in your own driveway that you have a flat tire, what would you normally do? Cry? Cuss? <laughs> scream? How about No way Amy gets... Sherrod cusses. No way. I won't uh, believe it. Once in a while. <laughs> um, how about instead gifting somebody so they never have to have that experience? Yeah. The Air Joe Cordless Rechargeable Air Compressor. This is a 20 for vault, which is huge because a lot of folks right now see infomercials and other products that claim that they can do all this, but Airjo is the real deal. deal. Yes. 65,000 units mm -hmm. were sold on the day that we had it make its debut at QVC. In fact, it was so popular, one color is out of our inventory because of that day. Now you can spend under 75, use a $12 easy pay. Mm -hmm. Just tell us, do you want the blue? the red, the black. You get all different tips and nozzles so you can put air in a basketball and air in an SUV tire. This is how you charge it. It comes in a beautiful case to give to somebody so they can store it nicely. It all would have added up to a very different price because just the air compressor would have been $79. you are getting everything for $75, including the three-piece needle pin and an extra one-year limited mm -hmm. extended warranty. Scott Hine. Hello again. My air Great on the tire you. guy. How are you? Yes, ma'am, I am. And so here's the thing. Life is full of these annoying little jobs. Oh, yeah. Inflating <laughs> things is just an annoying <laughs> job. But you only have a few options up until now, which is go to the gas station or haul out a big old compressor, none of which are easier or effective in doing it. Now you have Sunjo, Airjo family. And yes. all they do is make products that work quickly and effectively, and this is no exception. 24 volt lithium ion compressor. It gets 40 minutes of runtime, and if it's out there and can be inflated, this can do it. And okay. I'll prove it to you. So right. it's really simple to use. I've already put the ball needle into the basketball. And then all you do is you come back here. There's a lit LED backlit uh, readout panel here, okay? You can either preset what you want. So I could read on the ball and say, okay, 12 PSI, or I could just squeeze the trigger and turn it on. That's what I'm going to do here. And this ball is absolutely as flat as it can possibly be. I turned on the air compressor. You also get a little light there, so you can light up the valve itself. Nice bright LED light. They thought of everything here. And look at this. You literally, in seconds, this ball's ready to go, and Amy Strand can dunk it anytime she wants to. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know about that. But I am pretty good at playing horse if you ever want to play horse with me. Sounds so, good. from basketballs to footballs mm -hmm. to tires? Yeah, absolutely. And then, real quick, if you don't mind, yeah, I'll show you mind the anything. needles real quick. You get them. Because this is important, yeah, because, but like I said, if it can be inflated, the air joke can do it. You get two of each, and that's really important. So, you get the tapered needle. So, that's for like beach balls, rafts, pool toys, that kind of stuff. Then, these are called Presta valves. Presta valves are important because that's for your high end bike riders. There's a different type of valve on nice road bikes, on good bikes, and this is the adapter for it. Very few air compressors come with that. And okay. then, of course, the sports equipment ball needle, that's the one you want for all your day to day inflating. And then the, the chuck itself is the one that inflates the tires. That's the obvious one to okay. do. Okay. So awesome. anybody can do this, though, because this is what I like about it. We have divisions of labor in our house, okay? And <laughs> my division of labor is the car and the fix it and the DIY I for obvious reasons. Too. I just never called it that. No problem. So the thing is, my my wife now, if she gets in the car, which we all do this time of year, and that low tire pressure indicator light comes on, she can do this even though it's not her division of labor. I have peace of mind that she can do this. Here's why. Okay. On every car, truck, or SUV in America, Amy, there is a sticker. It is mandated by federal law. That's right. It's on the door jam, and it tells you what your pounds per square inch should be per tire. PSI, pounds per square inch. So you go here, you check out this sticker, okay. and it's 33 PSI for Doesn't this car. Doesn't it also tell you on the tire? It does sometimes, oh. but that's not required. But it, No, no, no. It does on wheelbarrow tires and bike tires, but not always on car tires. Okay. So you have that on the sticker there. You're good to go. You come over here, and you get the, the readout, the LED backlit readout, all right? What you do is you come in. Right now, you can see that we're sitting at 30.5 PSI. So I can go, and I set it to 33 PSI. So all I do is I squeeze the trigger. Hang on. Let me get that there. All right. And there we go. Hang on. This one's fighting me. I don't know why. I apologize. So give me it's a split second. I'll go over to the wheelbarrow try. Let me go to the wheelbarrow quick. We'll work with this one for a second. I'll okay. come back to that one. This one I'm going to do manually. So I'm going to turn this on. All right. And then I'm just going to do this one manually. If we come in here to the tire, I have a hundred pounds of stones and dirt in this wheelbarrow. And that is inflating the wheelbarrow as we speak. And then 
the PSI to your point is written on the wheelbarrow tire. I can either set it or I can just squeeze it and feel it. But either way, in just seconds, my wheelbarrow tire is good to go. So I'm wondering if somebody doesn't have anything like this in their shed, in their garage, and wherever you keep the, the tools, if my father needed to do landscaping and went out, would he have to take that wheelbarrow wheel off the wheelbarrow and take it up to a local gas station and put air in the tire? I'm sorry, I missed the question. I am so, <laughs> so if, incredibly no, sorry. No, it's okay. If somebody doesn't have anything like this at home, would you have to take that wheel off the wheelbarrow and drive to a gas station? You have to figure something out, and that's about the only answer. Yeah, and, and those things are really big and clunky. And try, it's like using a blowtorch to light a, uh, a, a birthday candle. Oh, no, You don't want to do you. that. Use this. This will go up to 120 PSI. So to put that in reference, a 120 PSI tire is a tractor trailer tire. That's how wow. powerful this is. Sports equipment, rafts, inflatables, whatever it might be, you're good to go. It's such a smart gift for the household. I mean, give the family this gift. Give your son this. Give your dad this gift. It's under 75 when normally this configuration would have been well over, and it's a $12 easy pay plan. Yeah, it's super simple, super easy to use. Unfortunately, we don't have the green color anymore that you see there in That's the video. But Sorry. you know what? The color doesn't matter <laughs> as yeah. long as you got it. And, and you this would choose is tonight the red, the mm -hmm. black, or the blue, and you would get all the extra tips so you can do the bike tires, the beach ball tires, the car tires. Yeah, a little bit of operator error on my my part. I apologize. Way to go, Scott Hunt. I now set it. So once it gets to the desired PSI that I set, you're good to go. So we know this tire will be inflated properly because underinflated tires cause accidents, blowouts, skids, and even fatalities. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're driving safe. It is a myth that uh, in the winter time that you want to have underinflated tires. That is an absolute myth. You want to have properly inflated tires to get through the snow and the ice, uh, you know, okay. safely. And I will tell you something over here. Tell me about this first, Scott. Yeah. So these are all the features that it's the on off button there with the three different types of settings. Most everyone will use PSI, but you can preset what you want the, the readout to be or what you want the, the PSI to be. So in this case, 31, 32, 33, squeeze the trigger, it inflates it to that amount, you're good to go. All different kinds of adaptive uh, nozzles. So you get the sports ball needles, you get the tapered, which is for pool toys, rafts, beach balls, that kind of stuff. And you get the Presta valve, which is for high-end bikes. Very, very few air compressors come with that valve. So you're good to go. If it can be inflated, the Sunjo can do it. It is such drill. a nice gift to give to anyone. I mean, we have all kinds of sports equipment in our garage, and we only have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So I can't oh, imagine what a garage <laughs> with an eight-year-old and a ten-year-old yep. must look like. I've got the stroller, so it's great for those with strollers. If you have a car, I mean, I was going to tell you, I was once told by a reputable person who works on cars and changes oil and works on tires that the worst place to get air for your your car is at the local gas station because that's where everybody else is getting air for their cars and sometimes they're often so used that they're pushing more air out than they're putting air in. So now you have your own device that can work on tires to basketballs. Properly inflated tires are a safety issue and a savings issue. They, they save gas. I mean, it's, it's that simple. But here we go. It's sports equipment. Be the hero. The ball's not inflated for the game. Hit the trigger. Check out our little football here. It inflates in no time flat. If you're a coach, if you're anyone who plays sports or fights or does basically anything where you got a tire, this is the way to go. It's such an awesome gift. Maybe you should be the NFL guy responsible for putting the air in the tires. Wasn't to our that good like friends in New England, I have no idea what she's talking about. No clue. <laughs> My husband probably hates that I just said that because he's yeah. all about the Patriots. I'm not saying anything. I'm not talking about politics right now. I'm just saying.